Hi everyone. Uh, back inside today, tried to do an outside class and uh, the lighting just wasn't working. It would have been a uh, silhouette yoga class, although the weather is really nice out. So maybe you're outside if you are, enjoy the weather. Um, getting ready with your yoga mat uh, in your spot, your favorite spot for, oh hi Lindsay, your favorite spot for yoga. Um, oh, Jasmine. Hey, how are you? Uh, I'm going, I'm letting you know. Um, so sometimes when we do yoga, we take away our senses. Um, sometimes our sense of balance when we only stand on one foot. So uh, today I am taking my glasses off. I usually wear contacts and I don't have them in today. So I'm going to actually be taking away one of my senses of, uh, of having really good sight as I do this. So Maybe I'm telling you that in advance, just in case my balance looks like it's off a little bit. Anyways, that'll be my challenge today, is try to work through not seeing so well. Okay, so let's make our way over to our mat. Um, have water close by, and also a uh, supporting block if you have one, or a towel that you can roll up in case we're doing any moves where you're not quite able to reach the floor, or if you want a little bit of support if we're going into any uh, squats. Okay, so let's make our way over to our mats and let's take it down into Shavasana. I'm just going to get ready here and come to a relaxed position. Hands are out to your side, palms facing up, relaxing your feet so they're rolling out to the corners of your mat. Starting to pay attention to our breath in and out, chest and abdomen rising and falling. Scan for areas of tension, forehead, jaw, tongue to the top of your mouth, neck and shoulders. And as you find those areas, just breathe in a little deeper. You can imagine your breath going there and softening whatever needs to be softened. Travel down your arms, travel down through your torso. Sometimes we have tense areas through the abdomen, sometimes through the glutes. And now those legs, if you're holding tension in the legs, you might feel like they're squeezing a little bit in towards each other. So just try to relax, let the knees go, let the glutes go. And even just thinking about that and telling your body to just let go for a little bit. Sometimes you actually then and only then realize that you were holding tension there. And now let's focus on longer and deeper breathing. one goes in through the nose and hold at the top. Open the mouth, exhale with a loud sigh. Do that again. Inhale and hold at the top. Exhale and sigh. Two more on your own. To normal breathing. The idea there is not to get yourself busy. Sometimes I find I can get busy even though I'm still laying down. So if that has happened, just take a minute to recover. And then start to wiggle fingers and toes, rolling wrists and ankles. Maybe slowly starting to blink the eyes open, but keep them soft. And now reaching the hands above your head, stretching long fingers and toes opposite direction. 
and let your breath go and go soft. Do that again. Inhale, stretch long. And as you exhale this time, let's bring both knees in. Rolling side to side, massage the lower back. Keeping right knee in, extending left leg. Pointing toes of both feet back towards your nose. An option is to bring the head up lifting the shoulders and you can either lower down as we switch legs or you could stay up get a little bit more forward again keep pointing those toes back towards your nose switch again so you're either bringing the chest the uh, the back the neck the shoulders that's what I want <laughs> neck and shoulders bringing them down towards the mat as you switch legs or stay up And we're going to do a few more if you'd like you can always start doing just a little bit of a bicycle we're not going to go with any speed here let's go one more and now one last hug in bring that shoulder neck head back down right arm up above and roll over on to your right side and now just sit up for a second usually we go right into the table but let's just sit here and let's put one hand down on the mat beside us reaching up with the other side and we're going to start to lean over the hand on the ground is supporting us you're allowing your elbow to bend and it's a big stretch opening one side of your body you can look up towards your hand you can keep your gaze soft in front up and back other hand goes down reach up second side and then start to lean over opening that one side of your body the arm that's got your weight it's got a nice bent elbow and let's bring it back let's just do those shoulders up back down and forward and up and back, down, forward, and then just relax. Over onto hands and knees into tabletop position and our cat cow. So dropping down the belly, open the chest, cow position, inhale. And as you exhale, round the back into the angry cat and back into cow, inhale. Exhale into cat, elbow creases pointing forward, not quite locked on those elbows, a slight micro bend. One more cow. And one more cat. Taking those arms just a little bit in front of us, getting ready to go into our first downward facing dog or puppy. So if you don't like downward facing dog, you're not quite ready for it. Keep those knees on the ground. Push those hips back, but not down. So just demonstrating if you want that puppy. We're not quite sitting down, but we're still getting the big stretch through the shoulders. If you're in the downward facing dog, we're pedaling out, warming up the back of our legs. And then coming to stillness, point the tail up. Bend those knees up onto your toes, look forward to your hands and make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale down. Inhale all the way up. Right into forward fold. Flat back. And down, taking your right leg back. Let's take the knee right down to the mat and into a lunge. So feeling the hip flexor of your back, leg pressing in towards the mat. You can extend the leg back as much as you want to get that stretch. And then we're going to support our way up. And we can use our arms, keep them at your hips, your choice. Exhale, bring those hands 
down, keeping your right hand by your left foot and doing a rotation like our lunge. Reaching that hand up towards the ceiling. Supporting arm has a slight bend. And bring it back. Up onto your hands, pull up the back knee, step back. And we're going into our first Chaturanga Dandasana. So squeeze those elbows in close. And we're coming up into Cobra. A little too early for Upward Facing Dog. Let's let that back warm up first. Flip your toes, pass through table, or right into Downward Facing Dog. Pointing up that tail. And now bend the knees on your toes to the top of your mat. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Swan dive. Exhale. Inhale. Hands down. And we're stepping back with the second side. Planting your knee. Making your way up into lunge position. And again, you're feeling it in the hip flexor of the back leg. Different arms on this one. Just keep it interesting. So practice arms and maybe you can feel those shoulder blades squeezing. Bringing it down. Keeping left hand by right foot. And rotating your lunge. Top arm reaching up. Think about that top shoulder peeling back. back knee, step back, and Chaturanga Dandasana. Adding in those push-ups if it's in your practice, starting to increase your back bend. It's comfortable. Flip the toes, meeting in downward facing dog. Lifting left leg up behind. Bring the knee in towards the nose. And just hover back again bringing it in opposite elbow back again and same side elbow last time back and now step forward and coming right up into high crescent lunge so rising up a little higher on the ball of the back foot Add a little bit of a lean back, open the chest. On your next inhale, rotate that back foot, coming to a heel to arch alignment. And then adjusting your legs so that you're leaning into your warrior two. Your knee is bent on the front leg, but not going over your toes. Front thigh is pressing out, so you feel a bit more work in the inner thigh. Relax your shoulders. Flip the front palm. Lean back. Exalt your warrior. Back to warrior two. Cartwheel your hands down. Bring the back foot forward. Inhale. Inhale all the way up. Hands to heart center, sitting back into chair pose. So focus your weight on your heels, squeezing thighs together, keeping chest up. Then we're going to take our chair and do a rotation. So we can put a hand on our hip hand on the outside of our leg as we turn and open the top shoulder or we can have hands together staying at heart center and coming center exhaling down inhale flat back hands down stepping back chaturanga dandasana 
maybe those push-ups are adding in a higher upward facing dog back into downward facing dog right leg up bring the knee into the nose and hold leg back up bring the knee into opposite elbow and back up same side elbow bring that knee in last time back and let's bring that foot all the way forward and bring it up and into crescent lunge so again we're doing an adjustment with the back foot so coming up a little higher onto the ball of our foot Pressing that front thigh to the outside of our mat and maybe a little bit of a lean back. Next inhale, pivot the back foot. Come into warrior two. Relax your shoulders. Your front knee is bent but not past your front toe. Your front thigh is pressing out so you feel a bit more work on the inner thigh. Palm, lean back, open the side of your body. And bring it back to warrior two and cartwheel down. Bring forward the back leg, inhale, exhale. Inhale all the way up into chair pose. Any discomfort here, just do a check-in and see if it's muscle discomfort or is it mind discomfort. We're going to take our chair and do a rotation. So right hand on right hip, and I can put my left hand on the outside of my thigh. I can stay with hands at heart center and do a deeper sit back and rotation. And bring it back to center, exhale down, inhale up, exhale hands down, step back, your choice of flow. And leaning back in, downward facing dog. Let's walk those hands back to our feet. And we're going to really bend our knees and press, feeling the abdomen press right against your thighs. Dropping into ragdoll pose, so we're grabbing on to opposite elbows. Maybe you like to swing very gently. Bring those hands down, inhale, flat back. Exhale, let's walk forward. Let's do one more flow. But we're going to land back down here on our mats. And we're going to do that locust pose that we've done before. So your hands can come a little bit forward, maybe a little bit of support, maybe hovering. And as we inhale, we open up and we lift our chest. So again, hands hovering, hands down. Feeling glutes squeezing a little bit, abs tightening, slowly bring it down and let's rest our head. Turning so one side, one cheek is relaxing on your mat. Coming back to center. Now you can stay where we were, lifting up the chest. You can add in lifting up the feet 
behind you. And again, you might choose to keep your hands down as we add the extra intensity of the leg lift. Slowly bring legs down, chest down, and turn and rest your head with second side cheek onto your mat. Bring your head back to center. We're going to do one more and option for the next level. So we bring up chest, we lift up legs, and if you want to try, you've got hands reaching towards those feet with the palms facing down. So lots of contraction holding us into this pose. Choose your support as you need it. My feet start to shake a little bit. And let's slowly bring the feet down, head down. Let's just cross those hands in front of us and rest our forehead straight down, relax the neck. Feel the back body doing the breathing. And starting to bring those hands back by our shoulders as we slowly press up through table and we're going to bring our feet swing our hips and bring our feet out in front of us so sitting nice and tall adjusting the padding so that you're sitting on your sit bones Inhaling here, just so that we can feel the back get nice and straight. And exhaling without caving down. So try to maintain that nice tall back. Inhale again. This time as you exhale, just make those fingers walk or slide their way down towards your feet. Maybe they stop here or here or grabbing on on the outside of your feet or reaching to the balls of your feet. So our bend or our hinge is right at the hip area and we're trying to keep our chest open. Taking a few breaths here, you might find yourself inhaling, releasing a little bit, exhaling, coming down a little bit. And let's release. Time. Inhale, exhale. So maybe the first time was our warm up, second side or second time. Maybe you're feeling you can extend a little further. So that often happens. It's not an expectation, it's an observation. And slowly bring it back. We're going to bring our feet so the soles of our feet are pressing in together in cobbler's pose. Choose the distance. You can keep it further away, get closer. Again, we're sitting nice and tall. Feeling the inner thigh get a stretch here. knees in. We're going to take one leg out and then fold our, I'm going to switch sides so you can see what I'm doing. We're letting one leg go back into what we would maybe call a half cobbler. The other leg is extended. Just turn a little bit so that your chest is right over that extended leg. And now we lean forward. Really feeling the stretch in the hamstring back of the thigh. Slowly come on up. Legs out for a little shake. Leave the right leg out. Bend your left leg like a half cobbler. Adjust so that your chest is going to lean straight down over that extended leg. And then lean forward, hinging at the hips. And 
slowly coming up. Bend those knees and adjust your hips for a nice landing on your mat. Going down slowly and then bringing those knees in. Feet down onto the mat. Get those heels as close as you can to the bottom of your spine. And as we inhale, we start to lift up those hips into a bridge pose. And you're feeling your weight balancing over your shoulders and your heels. Inner thighs squeezing together, glutes squeezing, core supporting the back. And let's slowly bring that down. Step a little wider with the feet. And just one or two windshield wipers. Back into center position again with heels close to lower back. When you're ready, inhaling and holding your bridge. Maybe it got a little higher. We can adjust so that our shoulders come a little closer towards the center of our back. Really squeezing the inner thighs together. And now slowly, again, one vertebrae at a time, bringing that back down. Step wide. Knees again, side to side. We're going to extend one leg. Keep one knee bent. So my left knee is bent. I'm going to take my left arm out to the side and I'm slowly going to roll over. And this is where if you need support, you don't want to go too far. You could put block under your knee. So if I could demonstrate, we could bring a block over and hold our stretch here and then we can extend both arms. So we're trying to stack hips one on top of another. If you don't quite get there, everybody's got a different limit. Perhaps you're able to bring the knee a little closer to the mat. A nice stretch in the side of the body. Slowly bring that knee back. Hug both knees in. Bring up head and shoulders. Roll back down. And then let's do that on the second side. So extending left leg, keeping right knee in as I slowly roll over, trying to stack hips one on top of another, choosing whether I support that knee on the other side of my body. And extend both arms, trying to keep shoulders on both sides glued to the mat. So we don't want shoulders to come in here, just hips. And now slowly come back to center. Again, both knees in, roll it up. Slowly bring down head and shoulders and let's go into happy baby. So your choice of final pose here, is it happy baby? Is it reclining cobbler? Is it a figure four or a one? I think I'm going to do my last one as a waterfall. So bringing those legs up, not perfectly straight, always a slight bend. Toes come back towards my nose. And we can stay in stillness. We can do a little slow circle one way and then the other. And one last hug in. And extending those legs. Feeling comfortable in our last Shavasana. Palms facing up. Feet relaxing. Letting go of the tension. Check the spots where you like to hang on to the tension, or maybe you don't like, but you tend to. Send your breath there.
Again, bring your awareness back to the room. Little fingers and toes. In your time, in your way, find your way to a seated position. Or you can roll left or right. Keep your gaze soft. Sitting on your mat, nice and tall and proud. Hands come to heart center. Inhaling nice and deep. Open your mouth and exhale. Do that again. Inhale nice and deep. And exhale. Thank you for joining me today. Have a wonderful afternoon. Namaste. Thanks, everyone.